guys, I cannot believe we're at week four of our Bible study in Philippians. It has went so fast, but I've just loved digging into this with you guys and really pulling out these nuggets of truth that we can really apply to our lives. And um, kind of a neat thing to do during quarantine too, right? Um, so we're, let's hop right back into chapter four here. So chapter four, I've kind of entitled the theme that Paul is challenging us. So, you know, in, in chapter one, he was encouraging us, you know, you're going to start off a letter, uh, warmly. Um, and then in chapter two, uh, he was sharpening us. Uh, he was, you know, calling us to a bit of a higher standard with our attitudes. And then in chapter three, he was cautioning us against some things and pointing us back to Jesus, back to God, as there's nothing truly more valuable than your relationship with him. And then in chapter four, he ends with a punch, a challenge. Um, and there are kind of four areas where I really feel that we're being challenged here. Number one, challenged with the power of our praise. And we're challenged to not worry, but pray about everything. And we're challenged that our thoughts actually, they actually steer the ship of our lives. And we're challenged that we can actually do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So let me unpack all of that a little bit. So first of all, we're challenged in our praise. So it says this, always be full of the joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all that you do. So I think that this is so important. You know, we talked about this two weeks ago when we were talking about our attitude, sharpening our attitude. You are gonna go about your day um, no matter what. You know, you're gonna do what you're gonna do today. And you get to decide, are you gonna do that with this rejoicing, joyful attitude? Or you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel like you're Floating. You're going to just have this perspective of life where you're happy, where you have this joy deep rooted within you that, you know, situations and, or circumstances don't really touch because you've just decided, like, I am having a perspective and approach and attitude of joy. And I'm actually going to rejoice and be thankful for the good things. I'm going to find the good things in this day, uh, no matter how hard it might be. I'm going to do that. Um, and when we have that approach to our lives, our lives are going to transform. All of a sudden, those people you used to look at and say, how are they always so happy? How are they always so content? How are things just always going so well for them? That will be you because you have decided you're going to have the lens of wellness. You're going to have the lens of rejoicing, the lens of joy. All right, so our next challenge is this. Don't worry about anything. That'd be nice, hey? We're, I know we're human, so we're gonna still worry, but we're being challenged. Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds. That is such a wonderful promise. Like. You can just read yourself that every single morning before your feet hit the ground. Don't worry about everything. But what Paul's actually saying is pray about it. Instead of just having this mindless worry happening, actually take that and translate it to a prayer. It's a lot more effective and productive. Not only is it going to the God of the universe who hears our every prayer, our every word, and cares and promises to work on our behalf. See, here's the thing. Sometimes we think, oh, God didn't work on my behalf. He worked on your behalf, but sometimes it's in a way that we don't understand or comprehend. Sometimes God's ways are higher that we don't really understand, but he promises he will work on our behalf, whether or not it's exactly how we thought it would look. When we pray and we bring our, our needs to him, he will work on our behalf. So don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. And not only does it go to the Father who's going to work on our behalf, but he also gives us a peace. His presence and his spirit gives us this peace that, you know, I've prayed about this. I brought it to the Lord and he's got this. And all of a sudden that weight's lifted off our shoulders as we've handed it to somebody else who's a lot more able and powerful in order to take care of that situation. So that's our another challenge. Do not worry. Pray. 